Why is America failing? Why are we not living up to our potential? The first 150 years of our existence, it seemed we're a meteoric rise to the best nation in the world, and now we're failing. What happened? Where did we go wrong? I'll tell you where we went wrong. It's pretty simple. We stopped being responsible for our own path through this life, through this world as a country. We delegated to foreign capitals, far from where we lived, the responsibility to maintain freedom, the thing that our founders said required eternal vigilance from every single one of us. We gave it to people that have been poor stewards, and now it's time to take it back. But it's hard to start caring out of thin air. For a long time, a lot of this country has gone astray, thinking that they can show they care about their fellow citizens, about their country, through programs that give out free money to people who will get more motivation and more empowerment earning it for themselves. And if they need help that bad, help them where you live, where they stand in front of you and you can look them in the eye and see whether or not they really respect the dollar you give them. Because now, the way it is, obviously, is not working. It's failing in front of our faces. We're distracted by wars abroad. Maybe ever think that maybe all that's a distraction? So we're not looking in our own backyard at what is happening to this country? Wake up! We fight wars of empire, the very thing our founders warned us against, the very thing that they said to be wary of. They would be ashamed of us. When we do all these things, we say, you know, we gotta, we gotta fix this somehow. We hear people preach about freedom from the right, but have the same mouth or a different side of it. They take their religious beliefs and put them upon other people when their choice does not affect them. And they could be free and live their lives and that person could too. And they, but they, it's not good enough. And they pass judgment instead of leaving judgment for the one man who really does, is the one who can possess the right to judge. That's God. But instead we'll make abortion laws. Instead we'll make this law and that law. And then look what happened. It got turned around on you and now you're pulling your nativity scenes off the corners. And the flags and the crosses off of war monuments. And they're doing it to that, you now. Freedom means that we don't always agree with each other. But it means that we get to be free and do what we want. And damn it, you have to let other people do it too, as long as it doesn't come in your yard. Obviously, that's, a good, that's why we're failing. Because we want to impose our beliefs, but we want to not be responsible for freedom. We want to give it to a politician and let him impose those beliefs for us. Does anybody not see the contradiction in the, our own actions? The real question now is, after I've said all this, is what are you willing to do to change it? Are you willing to change yourself? Are you willing to take a risk? Because one thing I think speaks louder than words is your money. And if you don't agree with the current government, and you think it's oppressive, and you think it's overbearing, and has a weight upon your neck that is weighing you down and dragging you to the bottom, why do you pay taxes? We're scared of the IRS. Look what they did to the Tea Party. But if you all stood up at once and didn't do it, do you think they could stop us? Do you really think for one second that they have the manpower to stop half of a nation? Get real. Wake up and realize the power you have in your hands. Realize that you don't have to live the lie that it is not your power, that some politicians that you elect. No, it's yours. And all you have to do is stand up and claim it and fight back the ego trip that will tell you that all this time before now, you've lived a lie thinking you didn't have it. Accept that, move on, and seize it. For if you pay for your own oppression by funding the government with taxes, your consent required by the Declaration of Independence becomes irrelevant and does not matter. 
because you fund it anyway. Wake up. You have a choice. This gets worse or it gets better. I think that's a pretty easy choice to make.